Hey, what's up, guys? Tech Informers, we're bringing you a new app review of the app Beatmaker. And what this app is, it's a, a drum machine and it uh, has trigger pads, and you can record and mix your own beats. And um, it's a uh, fairly big app, it's 165 megabytes, and uh, but it has a lot of cool features. It's 10 bucks on the App Store. It used to be 20, but they just had recently had a price drop. And so this is an app review. Okay, here's the home screen. You got um, pretty much their news uh, blog thing right here. And you know you got four tabs up there. But then you can load uh, kits. Uh, you can load your own beats. You can save projects. Um, you can uh, save a kit, a custom kit that you made, and you can export as a WAV file or MIDI file. Um, then you have two buttons right down here, which you can play, record, you can loop it and have a metronome, and it has the beats per minute and the timing. And up here, you have home, then you can go to the trigger pads and the sequencer and effects. This is the trigger pads up here. And so the sequencer is pretty much like a mix, um, and the FX is just the effects. So let's go to the uh, pads here. And this is what they look like. There's 16 pads of different loops, um, different sounds. Over here, there's a, a file. There's different tabs. You can, that's the uh, project. Um, you can save the uh, kit or the project. And there's a loop right there. And there, you can save it as a wave or MIDI file. You can copy it, paste, or clear to the clipboard. And um, so yeah, that's that tab. You have a um, sample where you can actually put different um, you can put different sounds in each pad. Uh, there's Maestro, which is metronome, pattern, and all this. So these are the pads right here. And right here you have a kick. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me turn it up. I have it on speakers right now. So yeah. And then there's a, a global volume up here for, you know, whatever. I accidentally pressed that. Let me try. Try mine real quick. Grab it. All right. Hold it. And then here's the other tech form. He's going to show some stuff. Alright, so right there, that was a couple beats, and uh, I'll just plug mine back in. Now we're going to go over the more features. Here's a, uh, uh, here's all the different tabs right here. Here's mode, and you can put in as a trigger, so every time you hit it, it'll do that. You can mute certain pads, and then you can also put them in reverse. Um, and then you can change the velocity. Um, so, like, down here is zero, and then there's a hundred. Uh, you can tune. So then you can also go and pan, so it'll go from 100% right all the way to 100% left on the speaker if you're using a stereo output. And um, and then you can go to uh, mixer and you can do a, a volume boost. Uh, it goes up to 6 dB. And um, then you could go to pan again. And uh, there's. FX, which output it goes to, you can do a main, which goes to like just the main, no effects. You can go to FX1 or FX2, and up here is the FX. This is uh, the one on the left is the uh, FX1, then FX2, and this is a um, you can go in feedback, make it a wet mix, and have dotted or tripled uh, beats, and you can go in uh, different timing signatures. Uh, right here is an equalizer of lows, mids, and highs. And then you can have a, uh, this is a bit crusher, and it kind of uh, uh, plays, um, it's different frequencies, so up there it'll be the most crisp, and then it'll kind of get all uh, rattly there. But then there's a um, equalizer, another one, and you can do a high-pass filter, an HPF or an LPF, and it kind of like does, the, you know, if you know about that, then 
there you go. Um, then you can also tune. Um, you can do semitones or octaves or a fine tune. Um, and you can do a uh, little thing pan and volume. And um, so let's go to the sequencer. And here you have different uh, bars. You can add a pattern. Um, you can edit a pattern and you can clear all. Uh, you can insert a bar, which is like these are bars right here. Um, so, and then you can click on it, you can add different beats. So now if you play it, and then you can loop, you can put on the metronome. And then you can edit the velocity, the pan, or the tuning. Um, yeah, I haven't figured that one out yet, so. And then you can also go to the different timing again to insert more stuff, and then you can duplicate the pattern. So if you go back, whoops, the song, you can put it in again. So yeah, that's the main thing. What we'll is load you up a sound file? So you got artist kits, you got all these different kits, and then you got kits within kits and all that. There's a lot of stuff to choose from. And there's my content and a sound bank. Uh, here's just a demo. Uh, I'll just do this one. And uh, for the size of this file, I'm surprised it doesn't have any latency or time times out. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the Beatmaker app. Ten bucks in the App Store. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks and bye.